Hey, Dana here. And hey, welcome to my vlog. And you know when I get something or I buy something, I do a review on it. Well, this is a Christmas present from my from my wife. And I mentioned, hey, you know, I might I got heated gloves last year. Maybe I'd like to get a heated vest. Well, she bought me one. It's a five volt rechargeable heated. Um called Action Heat. She actually got that on got this on uh um why'd she get this through Finger Hut? So uh, this is what we got. This is where the heat plates are. And it's gonna go down in your pocket. Let's see, what's three? Ultra power design. Looks like you can charge your phone with it. Number four. Heat up and charge up. While powering your heated vest, use the power bank. And a USB port to charge your device. Uh, quality soft shell. Uh, let's see, ultra slim power bank design. Touch button control with brand new sleep function. Double located the chest provides easy access to three heat settings. Press the side control button to utilize the new sleep function. Turn off LED light. Mm -hmm. And so, what else goes on with this thing? Onboard, onboard control button. Press onboard temperature control with just one to three times to set your desired heat setting. Hmm. The new sleep setting function control button allows you to turn off the LED light while maintaining your current heat setting. Hmm. High 150 degrees for two hours, 130, and oh, 110. Weather well, resistant, heat system wraps, advanced heating, and cozy line straps. Huh. Now I'm thinking, I want to. I can use, wear this under my, in my uh, dry suit. That was something I was thinking about too. Okay, power bank features. High capacity portable USB power bullet. Pack. Seven bolts. I know there was another one for like seven bolts. Or your tablet at the same time. Compatible. <laughs> All action. 5 volt heated auto wear products. There's also a standard 2 amp power bank that can personal devices. Again, LED indicator on the front of power bank. And long standby time allows you to keep power bank handy for emergencies. Our bank details. All right. All right. All right. So, okay. Find out more. And it looks like this particular unit was one hundred and seventy nine dollars. Okay. We'll see. See what we got. What else is on this thing? All right. What is it? Water resistant, power zone heats, powered by heats up to 150 degrees, lasts up to four hours, onboard temperature control, three heat level settings, and machine washable. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so here's our five volt power bank. See this 
plugs in at and sits. Comes with a USB charging port. And then here's the actual unit. It's pretty slim. Uh, make sure you be carefully before you do. Comes learn and visit more. And assuming you gotta charge it first. Alright, here's stuff for this thing. Our button, power life, USB cable, and extra port, USB. Ultra slim. Yes, charge your phone. Portable banks. And actionheat.com. Yep, it's got two USB plugs and a center, which is your charger. And see how small it is. It's right in my freaking hand. Hmm. Unfortunately, it's got the old USB <laughs> charge charge port. It's not the Android plug. I don't know how many of these I have now. <laughs> okay. It says you're going to charge this thing at least says about six hours. Let me just see it. Uh, charge for approximately six hours until the LED lights on the front of the power bank are solid blue. LED lights will blink blue when charging and will become solid when fully charged. I don't see anything going on. I got my computer charged, plugged in. See anything chart? See him kicking in. Six hours fully charged. Holy cow. Okay, let's see. We'll become blue when they're fully charged. Alright. Alright, for some reason I charge off the computer. I had to plug it in straight in. Maybe my cord is bad. Hmm. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, here's your connector. It goes in your left pocket. It's gonna go inside, inside this side right here. And then, here's your, here's your button. Two, three. And that's gonna control your settings, three. And then I guess, and this outside puts it in standby. So straight down one, and that's a standby, standby button. So you got three settings by pushing this one, two, three, and then you've got a standby. That's what I'm understanding. Okay, here we go. Here's your button. Simply press on board temperature control three times one to three to select your desired heat setting, and then a sleep button, which is on the outside. All right, it's been about six hours, and action heat, fully charged. I'm gonna go try it and see what, how it works. So the end is a USB. Okay, goes in there. It goes in rather tight, though. Stay tuned. Not, not, not a bad, not a bad fabric inside. Got an in, got an inside pocket on this side. Nothing on. Adjuster, adjuster down here. Color, color down. Bring it up around. Not right up underneath you, so if you're gonna wear a ski mask or something, you gotta put it on the outside. Okay, let's see what it, 
talking about here. Let's see. There it is. It's probably as high as it'll go. Wow, that one's right up. Okay, blue. Heck, all right. Blue. Hold it down, turns it off. Okay, so I'll hold down a couple seconds. Now we're warm. Hmm. Hey, my eye. Yeah, I can feel it warming up. Next one down is blue. A little cooler. And then, see what this one does. The outside. Alright. Stand by. Stand by. Hit again. And right, whatever you left it at is where it's going to be. Put that on. And now it's in standby. Now keep in, keep in mind I'm 5'7", about 165 pounds. This medium, medium's pretty tight on me. I push the push it up against me. I can feel I can feel the heat. If you're bigger than me, you definitely I would recommend a large larger and extra large in this. Okay. So it says uh don't use your red high which is the red for more than five minutes at a time heated product may become too hot and result in serious burns so um says on the other one because you have recommend power setting 50 is sufficient for temperatures of 50 50 degrees while lower temperature settings is 75 to 100 sufficient. So what you're going to see, first one, okay, back to red. I feel like kicking my back right now. So that's 100% red, no longer, no more than five minutes at a time. Next one is set probably 75. And then low setting is your next one. And then it'll go back to red again. So you have three, one, two, and three. That's low. And then when you push that button now, it's gonna main, it's gonna go into a neutral. And then they recommend that you keep the battery. No, don't let the battery get any lower than 25%, which would be two, which would be your first, first one here. Also, when you're going to store it, disconnect the battery pack because it will, it will still drain drain power off of it if you don't so once power is activated press the front of the control button one to three times to select your desired settings and to turn it off hold it hold the button three to five seconds three to five seconds or until the LED light the button is red All right, here's your here's your settings. Choose the hitting setting you want. One, 
three times you got your red and white's gonna be white medium and then blue is low and then if you put the LED light on sleep mode and wish to check which heat level settings you are on click the sleep mode button again if you wish to change your heat settings press the front of the temperature control button three times there's your sleep mode all right we're in hot and we're white which we're in standby push it again and then that's considered white and not blue yeah, if I'm looking at it, you're kind of you kind of getting a blue blue tint out of it. But it's actually white. You hit it again, and now it's blue. So you hit it again, and that puts it in standby. Hit it again, and it'll bring you back to blue, which is your blue is cold. So blue is your coldest mode, and then hold it, and then it'll go out. So that's your white. And when we first start it, we're in red. Next one actually is going to be white, which is your middle, uh, middle mode. And you hit it again in blue, and that's your coolest mode. Care instructions disconnect, move the power bank of the garment. Full washing. Place all wires in pockets. Fasten zippers and close all pockets. Wash separately from other clothing. Mild liquid. Machine wash channel cycle. That one to hang dry. Um, just got to remove power bank from the heated accessory when not in use. For cleaning. Place all wires in pockets. Fasten all zippers. Spot clean only, no starch, no, no machine wash, and hang flat surface. So there we go. Understanding the sleep mode. To activate sleep mode feature, click the small button on the side of the temperature control button. If you have if you have put LED light on sleep mode, LED on sleep mode. And wish to check which heat level setting you are on click sleep mode again if you wish to change your heat mode press the front of the temperature control one to three times mm -hmm. all right and if you want to charge your devices you just do it like you would normally do it but again make sure your battery doesn't get below 25 percent which is one dot. And the onboard control button. Get your sleep button. This is what they're telling you for temperature settings high 150 degrees for two hours, medium 130 for three hours. And there's your low setting 110 degrees for. Four and a half hours. Okay. And the power bank is a two amp power bank. Look over features. Three zones. And that's you have two in your chest and one on your back. And that's how you store your things in the back and in your pocket. All right. If you like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Definitely share. This is the unboxing and use of the Action Heat 5 volt rechargeable. Heated vest.